okay I just want to show you this um, this is a pumpkin that I had at Halloween and I really liked it with the with the mice around it so I left it so it's been there since October it's now February and I've moved it occasionally but today I was cleaning the lounge and I just want to show you what I found I've I put it back but look there's a maggot and all these things that look like eggs oh I don't know what it is and this is the underside of the pumpkin it's um I don't know what's going on I think oh look is, is that a little hole that's a little hole I think I'm gonna slice it open see if there's any more maggots inside but obviously I will have to dispose of this now which is a shame because I liked those little mice lamps on top of it never mind okay so I'm going to cut this pumpkin open and see if there's any more maggots inside it might be easier said than done because I know the really hard to cut. Let's see. Mm. Oh, there's no way. This is so hard. There's no way there's maggots in here. I put the knife in right where that little hole was. sign of life it's just a pumpkin so today's video is going to make anyone who knows me laugh because it's a cooking video and I hate cooking I detest cooking let me clean a room any day or what I can't now I'm busy um, yeah I'd rather clean I'd rather iron I'd rather do anything then cook but actually I don't mind making this particular thing this is why I'm going to do it um, so I'm going to be making today it's called an oat loaf I think it's, it is it's a, an oat loaf so it's sort of a savoury bread thing um, with no wheat in it my best friend can't eat wheat and she's an absolute pain but I know lots, of, in fact, I even think I'm quite sensitive to wheat. If I eat too much cake and too, much, too many sandwiches at the same time, my stomach's out here. So, um, and also I think my daughter's a bit the same, just if we eat too much. So anyway, I am going to show you how to make a delicious and very healthy oat loaf. So the first thing we need in a bowl to mix it all in. I'm just going to gather the ingredients. I should probably have done this first, shouldn't I? Let me move that candle. Um, right, so we need an egg. You'll have to wait, Nelly. I'm busy now. Egg and Greek yogurt. Um, oats, that's the main ingredient, so oats, uh, treacle, oats, treacle, seeds and pecan nuts, and there, um, salt, yeah, baking powder, uh, or should I say baking bicarbonate of soda. Um, what else? 
think that's it. The reason I like doing this is because it's easy and you don't have to be bothered measuring everything. I think that's so boring, measuring. So I'm just going to put the oven on to preheat. Um, I don't know what temperature, I'll have to check on what temperature. Right, so the first thing is a bowl of oats. Now I would say that many, which I would imagine is about 500 grams, like a small packet of oats. What are they, what's this? Um, oh no, it can't be 500 grams, because that's 500 grams. But I usually just put a bowl, just so it's like half filled your bowl. That's plenty. Um, then we need a whole pot, large pot of yogurt. This is why I like doing this because it's like there's no. Oh, maybe if I had a clean spoon, it might be nice. Yeah, there's no measuring, it's just like shove it in. So that's the yogurt. Um, I do have a recipe for this actually. Uh, my friend, I had it at her house and it was delicious. So she texts me the recipe. So I'm, oh, I can't check the recipe because it's on the phone, which I'm recording on. Right, so there's the yogurt. I'm going to try and keep clean as I go today. Um, we need, I think it's a teaspoon. A teaspoon of baking soda or bicarbonate of soda and some salt I don't really know how much salt uh, so because we're trying to be healthy let's just have a little bit we'll just put half a teaspoon of salt in because we want this to be really healthy um, an egg free range of course and a tablespoon of this is the best bit the black treacle which I just adore this oh look at that so can you see so you just shove it all in together and mix it up. It's quite hard to mix actually. Oh, I love this treacle. This reminds me of bonfire night when I was a kid. Mm. So, mix this up. So I don't know where that um, maggot came from. I mean, it's the middle of winter. How could it have just appeared? It didn't come out of the pumpkin. So I, I just don't, actually my daughter thought it looked more like a caterpillar, but whatever it was, how on earth do you think it got under that pumpkin? Um, and, and all those bits, that were round the maggot, that were, I don't know what they were, they looked a bit like they could be eggs. Um, I just, well, I don't know what they were. Um, but I felt terrible putting the poor thing outside in this weather. I don't fancy its chance as much because it's so cold outside. I couldn't keep it. I mean, I've already got a wild mouse mouse running around the house um, which we've seen a couple of times in different rooms and the cat's been like very interested in uh, down the side of the fridge and then the washing machine so I do think it's running around but I haven't got the heart to catch that and kick it out in this weather but I've got to draw the line at maggots I can't <laughs> 
start giving sanctuary to maggots as well. So I did put it outside in a, in a pretty pot with a toadstool. So hopefully it'll be okay. Right, okay, here is the mixture. It looks like cement. <laughs> It tastes like it too. So, you need to put in your seeds. These are just mixed seeds. Um, just a few of those. And also pecan nuts. And these should be maybe just a handful. These should be broken. Okay, so that is my seeds and nuts in there. I just turn the camera off then to check the recipe that's on a photograph on the phone. And the oven needs to be 180 if it's a fan oven. Um, I don't know what that is. Gas, probably four or five. But I don't know, you'd have to check that. So that is, that's it. So now I just have to grease a loaf tin and what's the matter with you? I will in one minute. You're so demanding. Okay, I think a few um I think a few more seeds. shall grease a loaf tin and pop that in. This is a good arm workout as well, making this. Okay, in it goes. Okay. Oh. So now you just level it off and sprinkle a few more seeds and nuts on the top. I'm gonna, I don't know why I do this. I tend to place the pecans and, but they all fall off anyway when you take it out. But anyway, there we are. So the oven, 180 degrees. Uh, for 40 minutes and then I will see you in 40 minutes. Okay, the beep's gone off on the oven. So that was 40 minutes. So there we go. So with this, we have to um, take it out of the loaf tin. This is when I said don't really worry about making a nice arrangement on the top of pecans because they'll fall off anyway. Because we have to turn it out onto a, um, onto a baking tray and cook it for another 10 minutes. So there we go. And I don't know why, but my friend said you have to hit it till it sounds hollow. I don't know why you have to hit it. Anyway, it, it needs to go back in for another 10 minutes. So whilst I've been waiting for that to do, I have been making soup to go with it. I'm doing two kinds. I'm doing a cashew nut soup and a broccoli and Stilton soup. Okay, the other beeps just got now, 10 minutes. So, um, so it's out of the oven. Again, I don't really know what I'm listening for. Turn it over. 
and there we are. So we're going to have this with some delicious homemade soup, um, but it's also gorgeous with lemon curd on and my daughter loves it with Nutella so you can have it sweet or savoury. And there you are, quick, easy, healthy oat loaf. Thank you.